2019 brings new leadership to the Idaho State House, and under Governor Brad Little comes new leadership at the Office of Drug Policy. Six on your side's Karen Lair joins us live in studio with more in tonight's Finding Hope. Well, Don Melinda Smizer has spent her whole life in the Treasure Valley and before serving as a state senator, she spent more than a dozen years working with students as a teacher and a school counselor. Now she's taking those experiences to help improve drug related policies and procedures across the gem state. Bullying, suicide, drug use. From her years as a school counselor, Melinda Smizer knows Idaho's youngest residents are dealing with some tough topics. Work with kids who were on math families. It's it's devastating. And as the new leader of the Office of Drug Policy under Governor Brad Little, she hopes, among other things, to improve drug education and prevention efforts in Idaho classrooms. You get out of Ada County and then Kootenai County up north, and Idaho's really rural. So giving the educators, the counselors, uh, more opportunity to make sure that they have the skills that they can teach a proven effective curriculum. The new ODP leader also knows a crisis doesn't always hit during typical business business hours and sees the need to improve access to immediate resources for those with substance abuse or mental health needs. So I called them on the phone and you know a lot of them uh, 8 to 5 Monday through Friday, 7 to 11 Monday through Thursday. Well, we know that crises don't necessarily happen on those times. Smizer says the state's also working to improve the process of connecting individuals after an overdose or mental health crisis with available resources in their community through recovery coach programs and informational handouts while at the hospital. Somebody's actually following up with them, uh, you know, to talk to them about treatment options and so we've seen some of those models in other states and that's something Idaho's working on and I think that's where we can put a really good use of our money. And when it comes to improving prescription rates in Idaho and disposing of unused unneeded medications, Smizer says the state's already making progress. Five Idaho hospitals just recently adopted the Speak Out, Opt Out, Throw Out program we first showed you in our reporting from Salt Lake City, plastering waiting rooms with warnings about opioid dependency and elevators with educational materials on non opioid alternatives. Now, one of her main goals is to also help bridge the gap between different agencies across the state working to fight the opioid epidemic. There's a lot of work going on, but not everyone knows what other agencies are doing. So if everyone can get on the same page, she says they can join forces and make even more of an impact. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Karen Lair, six on your side.